Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Facebook Live Sunday evening. Hop on, say hi, let me know where you're from. Hi Debbie, yes, and thank you for sharing. Yes, definitely share my videos. So Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com, coming to you from New York. After a few days without internet, let me grab my glasses here. Hi Teresa, hi Vicki, hi Steph. Hey Matthew, hey Winnan, Maureen, thank you all for tuning in. So I'm sorry that I missed you on Friday morning, but as you probably saw, I had I didn't have any internet. Uh, just a truck took some lines down, and one happened to be mine. So we're all back up and running. I was a little nervous because you know you never know when you get back on the internet, but everything looks to be working fine so far. Hey Elizabeth, hey Deborah, hi Linda. So again, thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. So a uh, couple of things. What I'm going to do tonight is the pa uh, paper pumpkin. That's not what I was going to do Friday morning. So this coming Friday morning, I'll do that one. I do want to mention I won't be on YouTube live tomorrow night. I'm usually on on Monday nights, but I have a class on Tuesday, so I have to prep for that. Okay, so just a couple of quick things to remind you of the Get and Go promotion. And I'll show you more of that when I flip the camera. And also, well, I'll just flip the camera and we'll just get started. How's that? Good morning, Donna. How's it going? Hi, Mary. Hi, Susan. How are you? Thank you all for tuning in. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Or if you're drinking something stronger, grab it. <coughs> <clears throat> what is it about every time I get on live, I have to cough? Hi, Judy. Hey, Joyce. Joyce, your goodies are coming to you in the mail tomorrow. I'm mailing that out to you. All right, so let's get started. So again, Rose Ward, stampersdelight.com. If you want to order from me this month, this is my host code. You only want to use that if your order is less than $150. Uh, don't use it if it's $150 or more because you want to get the Hostess Rewards points. So a couple of quick reminders. The Get and Go Starter Kit is going on until September 30th. That's an important date. There's two things that you got to know by that date. And with this kit, with the Starter Kit, you're going to get these gorgeous stamps, uh, two extra stamp sets, plus some um, $125 of merchandise of your choice plus you get these two stamp sets you get some rhinestones and you get kits using these these three colors and it's enough to make 16 cards so you get two different kits right here each make eight cards so you can do your first um, class or you could just make your own cards but this is a great deal the starter kit, you have nothing, absolutely nothing to lose by trying this out. I tried it out 19 years ago, and I'm still going with it, okay? So if you'd like to talk more on that, just um, email me or send me a private message, and we can talk, okay? But I'd love to have you on my team. Again, the Get and Go Starter Kit promotion, it ends September 30th. The other thing I want to remind you that ends September 30th is my online retreat which the online retreat, you're going to get these two bundles, the Celebration Tidings with the dies, and you're going to get the Essential, Everything Essential. All right, and um, it's going to be, the one in my house is all day, and we're going to make eight to ten projects, and then the online one, you'll get everything that we're going to do here that day. You're going to get everything and a video to show you how to do the eight to 10 projects. Okay, that also has to be, you have to sign up and have that paid by September 30th, okay? You're gonna get a nice um, swag bag with lots of goodies in it. Your kits will be all pre-cut, but you will also get some great other items. So for tonight, I have actually nothing planned. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit, okay. I'm going to be showing you the paper pumpkin and some alternatives that I had uh, that I've done with it so far. But as far as what I'm going to be stamping, I have no idea because I don't have anything prepped. I figured we'd just do it like a regular get together. Okay, so in the paper pumpkin this month, 
you got, of course, my stamps are already on block. So this is the, um, the stamps that you get. And if you don't get the paper pumpkin, if you haven't uh, signed up for that yet, you really want to do that now because the next one is Joy to the World, and that looks amazing. Okay, and I'm going to show you alternatives. So if you don't get the paper pumpkin, I'm going to give you some ideas that you can use with some of your sets that you already have. So that's the stamp set. We'll just stick that over here. And then, of course, you get your directions. And these are those little, I guess they call them poppers, right? So you can fill these cute little popper things up with some goodies for your trick-or-treaters. Now, if you're like me, I don't get trick-or-treaters here. I never have. When my son was younger, I took him trick-or-treating, but the only, only the next-door neighbor used to come over to my house. So I really wanted to do some alternatives with this. And, of course, you get all the instructions and everything you need to do these projects. I'm going to first show you the two projects. Okay, so I did two of them up. Aren't they cute? And, of course, you can improvise. You can make these into fall because there's a give thanks on the uh, stamps. And you can, if you do uh, Thanksgiving dinner at your house, everyone at the table can get one of these cute little um, poppers. So also in the kit, you get, of course, your dimensionals, your glue dots, these strips to help put those together. Got some, there's actually the glue, uh, the dimensionals that you get. You get some baker's twine. And then you get all of these other items. Now, mine are all in pieces here, so just bear with me. All right, so you're going to get some die cuts. And you can see I've used some of mine. And you've got so many die cuts. Even if you did all those poppers, you'd still have some left. Okay, so you have all of these. And then this one, you can see they're all leaves and some flowers in the fall colors. And then you got some more flowers. And then you've got your um, white pieces for your sentiments. Might be kind of hard to see those. They're all ready cut. You got these little curly cues, some more curly cues in this little lattice in different colors. And they do have the colors on the back. I will tell you the coordinating colors are black, bumblebee, Cajun craze, cinnamon cider, mossy meadow, old olive, and pumpkin pie in white. And then you got some in black. I didn't use too many of the black. Here we go. Let me look at all of these that you get. And then, of course, here's the poppers. And they're two-sided, so you can use whichever side you want. And here's some more of those die cuts. You got some black cats. And you're going to see these again in a minute. And then here's the pieces that I've started to use. So I'm just going to kind of put these over in the box here so I don't lose them. Because you know how I lose everything on this table. So you get that whole kit, and uh, does it tell me how many I can make? I know it does, but I forgot. 20 of them, okay? So again, you can make 20 of these. And I am going to bring in now, I was just looking at some of the comments. Hi, Nilla. Hi. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Kathy. All right, so these are the poppers that you make with the kit. And, of course, I wanted to do some alternatives because, like I said, I don't need 20 of those. So the first one I did, and I'm going to bring that popper piece in so I can show you. Okay, so here's the popper piece, right? And remember, it's two-sided. What I did was I cut these out. I cut these, pe this, these pieces out, and I did this instead. So I just layered them different, you know, the different size sides. And then I stamped this instead of using the, the hat that was already cut out because you do have this cute stamp. Let me bring, I'll do it this way because you can see it better. You do have a witch's hat, but you can also use that for the fall. So I stamped it and cut it out. And I did this, layered it with um, my oval there. Okay. And of course you see the pumpkins. Almost looks like a fence. And then I used from one of our other sets, um, the Autumn Blessings, I think it is, Give Thanks with a Grateful Heart. So this is more of like a fall card. Okay? So that was one I did. Then the next one I did as an alternative, and I used the um, Magic of the Night. You know which one I'm talking about. I know I don't get all the names right. I used that designer series paper, and I layered that with the Cajun Craze and, of course, our gorgeous grape. 
And there we have the cat. There we have the die cut. And then we have our ribbon. This, this is the black glittery ribbon in the annual catalog. And I just made a Halloween card. Again, there's that piece that I cut because I knew I wasn't going to need the whole popper. Trick or treat, spooky and sweet. Okay, and then, of course, my leftover piece I used for my envelope. So that was another card that I did. Then I used from the designer series paper, and again, I don't remember all the names, but you, you'll know which one I'm talking about from the uh, annual mini catalog there, or the mini catalog. I used that beautiful pumpkin paper that has the foil to it. And then I just added some of those die cuts there. I stamped some of the leaves because remember, you've got these little leaves that you can stamp. And you've got the die cut leaves. So I used both. Oh, thanks, Nathan. You're a big Halloween person. I see that, Nathan, aren't you? So this was the next card I did. And you can see how I stamped and used the dies all at the same time in the little curly cues. Okay, and again, it says give thanks, and then inside give thanks with a grateful heart. So that was another alternative. Now, I'm going to bring this in again because remember, what I showed you were these pieces right here. They're in strips. Can you see them? They're, it might be easier to see them on the other side. They're uh, scored there. Those are the piece, those are the little squares that I cut off for the first card then what I did for the second card and we'll, we'll play around with that is I cut this piece right here I used that piece right there okay and I did this one so again I cut it and used it as designer series paper instead and I used the cat and again the die cut hat and then in the stamps you got uh, a pumpkin but you also got the die cut pumpkins and you have two faces a large one and a small one and they fit right on those die cuts you love the fall too Nathan oh thank you Deborah and then I used uh, another piece of strip that I had left from that designer series paper and made a happy Halloween card and this you see the glitter paper back here that is actually from the have a hoot class that I did and when I used um, the Have a Hoot die, you get those three um, tags out of there. So I've got like so many of these glitter tags. So I just backed it up under the saying. Oh, thanks, Bree. Which DSP was the one before with the gold pumpkins? It's in the annual catalog, and I will grab it in a minute. I'll put all the, the descriptions in, Linda. I apologize. I didn't grab my book. And if somebody wants to hop on and tell us the name of that while I'm showing the cards, it's this paper. Okay. I would appreciate it. Okay, so there we have it. And, of course, I layered it with the black and then the, um, I think this is, I can't tell when I'm doing this. This is white. Okay. The lights sometimes are, well, good, Mary Ellen. Now you got some more ideas. Trick or treat, spooky and sweet. So that was another one that I did. Yeah, you got so many dies, die cuts on this. It's amazing. And then the last card, but I still have a couple other things to show you, and then we're going to stamp. Here's the last card I did. Now, what I did was I cut them all down in strips and made it into a fence. Can you see how I have them going this way and then behind? I'll bring it up so you can see it. So I made it into a... Thank you, Nathan. It's Gilded Autumn DSP. Thank you, Nathan. Usually I have my catalog here, and I don't have it with me right now. I have about a ton of them over on the side. but And then, of course, on these um, die cuts, you also have these little... They almost look like that... Uh, what was the color we used to have? Grapefruit. So I just backed that up there. I used some of the, the, the um, ribbon from the uh, mini catalog. And I made another one. But again, I made a little fence, and then the pumpkins are in front of the fence. Okay, and then this was just some paper again I left I had left over. And, of course, you know how much I love to use that the new envelope dies. And I just thought that would go well because you see all the leaves. Even though they're not exactly the same colors, they blend in well. So that's the next card I did. 
And again, I use the um, Autumn Blessings. My heart is grateful for you. I think it's Autumn Blessings. So there's some alternatives for you. And then, because we're going to do some other alternatives, I, I, I thought about this and I knew I have so many uh, scrapbook pages to do. I knew I had some Halloween ones close by. So I'm going to show you some scrapbook pages that I did. Okay, so this is the first one I did. And I'm going to bring that up so you can see the whole thing. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. So this is with, again, the um, Magic of the Night designer series paper. You see the Cajun craze back there. And then I have my son's first Christmas when he was a clown, our little bat boy. That was his second that's Christmas, second Halloween. And then what I did is I used some of those dies or the die cuts. You see, I put the faces on there. And I used our glitter paper, cut a circle out there, put the little um, cat. And then I used the bats and just because he was a little Batman there, I just did that. Okay, Tina, catch the replay, and I'll also be uploading it to YouTube. Now, these cards I had for many, many years that, of course, I never used before Stampin' Up! did the Memories and More cards, so I'm so glad they came out with those. So I went through my stash, and I found a couple of Halloween ones that I thought would be cute. Okay, so that was my first page that I did. Then I brought in, I found his fourth so that was his first and second halloween this is his fourth i don't know where his third halloween is i think he was a ninja turtle i think he was a ninja turtle for his third and fourth okay so here's his fourth halloween and again i used the spider paper so i used the spiders notice what i did the bat paper so i used the bats and here i used the spider paper so i used our spiders and of course our iridescent pearls Here's where I stamped one of those hats and colored it with our blends. So this is him. We always painted pumpkins when he was little because they lasted longer. Plus, he always wanted to make them into Ninja Turtles. And there's there he is with his Ninja Turtle outfit, which actually had a hard shell on the back. Okay, so that was his fourth Halloween. And then this was his fifth Halloween. And I'm going to show you something I thought was pretty neat. I used, even though this looks flowered, that paper I used because it's got the uh, Cajun craze. It's got the blue, and it ties in with this teal color of the Power Ranger. Okay, so even though it looks flowery, it does look Halloweenish. So this was the year he was a little po uh, Power Ranger. And I just threw some little pumpkins on there. And this is my dad. Like, yeah, my dad used to wear that vest all the time. My dad's not here anymore, but... I always took a picture of my son on Halloween with my dad. Okay, so that was that page. This is actually a two-page spread, so it goes like this. And here's the other page. So he's doing his ninja moves. And then here he is with my niece, Paige. That was her first Halloween, and my niece, Chrissy. And, of course, again, these cards were ones I had from way back when. Okay, so that tied in really nice with that. So let's start by real quick showing you how to put those poppers together. Now these little things I saved, okay, because I know I can do something with them. So those little pieces I saved. And then they're real easy to put together. Whichever side you want to do, you just fold it on the score lines. Fill it up with some goodies. Now remember, it is kind of it is kind of narrow, and I I guess like jelly beans would fit in there. There's whatever small can I, I'm sure candy corn would fit in there, but I am not a candy corn fan, so mine are empty. Okay, so you just do the score lines like that. Now you have the strips right here, and what you're going to do is you're just going to curl those up. I'm going to go with this side, okay, and you're just going to curl those up, and you get this cute little box, okay, all right, so we're going to take that, 
and we're just going to get one of these strips right here. So I'm going to show you the box, and then we're going to do some more, more alternatives with probably some things you may already have. So remember, these are great for ideas. Just look around your craft room and see what you have that you can tie in with these. Chrissy's doing great. Thank you so much for asking. Yes, uh, it's been a year. She's been cancer-free. They just bought their first house. So she is doing really, really well. Yes, that was Chrissy in the picture. Her and Ryan were always together for Halloween and trick-or-treating, Easter egg hunts. Okay. I should have made this a little bit longer because my nails are getting too long and it's hard for me to tie things. What I usually do with Baker's twine, just to because it's very thin, I always tie it in a knot. Then I don't have to worry about it. Very easy to do. And then I'm going to tie the other piece. And I can cut those tails off later on. Reese's Pieces, yes, and M&M's. Thank you. I'm going to go out and buy those. They would fit in there. My problem when I buy candy to, to do my videos, or even for my classes, at home is I end up eating more than I put in these things so we're just going to tie that one okay so these two are Halloween ones that I already did so we'll make this one a, a fall one a give thanks okay so let's see what I can come up with here all right, so in my stash, I'm going to bring out all these pieces now and see what I'm going to do. And maybe you could help me along the way. Okay, so do we want... Ooh, black looks nice. I didn't think I'd like the black. All right. And let's see. We've got... How about a pumpkin? Let's grab the pumpkins. This is kind of small. I think I want the big pumpkin, though. Now, remember, I'm not going to put a face on this pumpkin because it's for the fall. So I'm just going to put that there. And I don't, I'm don't. i not going to lay, lay it down yet because I want to just place that on there and see how it's going to turn out. Okay, I'm going to grab some of these green little curly cues. Thank you, Angie. Hey, Pam. Okay, Donna, thank you for tuning in. You go do your business class. And then, of course, you've got your glue dots. So we're going to put some of those. Okay, so here, I'm going to start it now. All right, I got an idea of what I'm going to do with this. So, and I'm going to cheat here. I'm just going to take my stamp and seal, and I'm going to put that right there. Okay. Then I'm going to take some dimensionals. I remember I haven't done this one yet, so we'll see how it comes out. Whoop. I'm going to lay it that way. And let's see, I got some of those little curly cues here. I'll have these things all over the place in a minute. I did bring out two. I know I did, but I think I might only need one. I'm going to put that down here. Okay. So, again, I'm going to use my... I'm going to use my stamp and seal rather than the glue dots, okay? And I'm just going to put that in there. If you get a lot of trick-or-treaters, then definitely you can use that. Okay, I do want a second one. I may be doing Thanksgiving dinner this year, so I may be able to use all these at the dinner table. I think we're going to put a little bit more on here. Let's put that one right there. Okay. So now let me bring in one of those little pieces here. And I'll bring in the Give Thanks. Is that one too small for that? Mm. Nope. 
should fit. I'm going to bring in the Cajun craze. Oh, yeah. And you get, of course, you get your uh, ink spot. I don't use the ink spots normally when I open my paper pumpkin because I usually use those later on for something else. So I think this one will fit on here, let's say. There we go. And then I'm going to take a mini dimensional. I'm really going to have this popped up. Now remember, uh, tomorrow there'll be, uh, the uh, still shots will be on Facebook and my blog. I don't know that I'll get to that tonight, but. And I'm just going to put give thanks right there. And that alone looks good, right? You don't have to have anything else on there. But I want to use a little flower because I haven't used any of these little flowers. So let's see what color flower I'm going to use. Hmm. Or maybe the leaves. No. Let's see. I can't decide. I guess I'll use... Yeah, let me use some of the little leaves. So I want a little yellow, I think, in here, and maybe a little Cajun craze. I'm going to take these two leaves, and I'm just going to, again, put a little glue on this, and just put that right there, and put that one right there. There you go. Okay. Oh, it was, oh, there it is. Thank you. <laughs> well, we'll just put that aside. So that's how you make the little boxes. Okay. So again, you can make them into Halloween or Thanksgiving. You could save them, make them to birthday ones. So let's do some playing here. I'm going to grab, let's see, what do I have next to me? I'm going to grab, um, pumpkin. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but let's check it out okay so let's fold that in half first okay there we go with that now I'm gonna bring in now remember this one so let's bring that in so I can show you because I want to show you some alternatives right you've already seen this you know you get the cats you know you get the hats okay so I'm gonna bring this in and I'm gonna use this and what I did, just to show you, let me grab my paper trimmer, which is on the other table. So I'm going to bring this in, and I'm going to trim this, because I want this paper. I'm going to bring it right up to that score line. And I'm going to cut it off. And of course you have this piece. And I'm sure I'll throw that over with the other things. Because I'll be using it for something else. I'm just going to flip it around. Find that other score line. Cut that right off. And you really don't see the score lines that are in here too bad. So you can use that. So that could go right there. And I am going to take... Some designer series paper. You're going to see me moving around a lot because I've got stuff all over. The designer series paper from the um, Magic of the Night. I might use that. I might use this. Oh, I kind of think I like that. Which side do you like better? Let me grab some uh, very vanilla. Nope. Maybe black. Let's see if I have black over here might want to use black or Cajun craze. Let's see. Turning my paper, my thing around here. I don't know. Hmm. I kind of like them both of them, but I really kind of like this one better. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one. You like the black? You want me to use the black side? Okay, I got two blacks. All right, you want me to use the black side? All right, we'll use the black. So this, let me, I don't know what size exactly this is when I cut it down. So let's measure that. So this ends up being 
five by two and a quarter. All right, so five, let's see, I'm gonna do this at four and five and a quarter. That layers right on there. That goes right there. I was gonna put another color under there, but you know what, I don't think it needs it. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Oh yeah, I just thought of something. Okay, so I'm gonna layer that, but I'm not gonna put it on the card yet because I'm not done. Okay, so I've got that. Let's see what else I wanna use. How about the punch that I'm gonna be using in my um, retreat? Yep, okay, I'm gonna use that. I'm going to use my two and a half inch circle punch. I'm going to grab some glitter paper. Black glitter paper. I have no idea what I'm doing. Isn't this fun? <laughs> okay, we're going to do that. Put that there. Put that there. Then I think I'm going to take that very vanilla. I'm going to punch. Well, first I'm going to stamp it. Okay. So I am going to stamp. Hmm, do I want to use the witch's hat? I'm going to stamp the witch's hat. So let me grab my memento because I'm going to color this. mat is right here oh look i remember that strip i'm going to use that for my envelope no waste no waste here i'm gonna put it right about there so i have enough room all right now normally I know you think of witches' hats, you think black, but I, I don't like the color with black. It just is too dark for me, so I usually use the smoky slate. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the nubby end or the bullet. The bullet, I, the bullet is the exact name, I guess, that that end is, but I like to call it the nubby end. Sounds cuter. Okay, there's the nubby end. And then I'm just going to swirl that around. And look at this, I can go right over that black flower. Don't have to worry about it. And if those lines are too harsh, you just go back in there and blend it in a little bit more. I usually let, let it set for a second to see if I need to blend it. That's good. You can use your regular markers. I just tend to use my blends a lot. Hey, Yvette, how you doing? Okay, and I'm just going to add some of this. That's the dark. This is pumpkin. And again, I'm using the nubby end because there's smaller spaces and you have more control. Now, I know they say mossy meadow, but I'm going to grab the granny apple green, the, the dark, because it's a little bit brighter. And I'm going to also do this leaf here and this leaf here in the granny apple. I'm going to use the dark, um, this one is the dark mango melody. I'm not going to use the light. I'm just going to use the dark one. Add some fall colors in there. And then that little tiny one up there, I think I'll use the dark cinnamon. Okay. 
And there's a little piece of the, which is, um, whatever you call it. Can't even think of what I'm saying there. I'm going to put that just a touch of purple. The ribbon or whatever around there, okay? Now, you can cut the fussy cut that out, but what I'm going to do is I am going to use, oh, does it fit? It might not fit in here. Didn't think of that. Hmm. Okay, it's not going to fit. Should have checked that out first, huh? All right, let's see if the other punch I have sitting here will fit. All right, so we're going to change that up. We'll use this one next. I'm going to use, I use the two and a half inch punch here. So this is the two inch punch. Remember, I said I didn't do these. Didn't have anything planned out. There we go. All right, so let's put this together now. So cute. Let me grab my black cat. Oh, you know what? Let me just see something. This is fun stamping with you and not having anything planned. Oh, how about that? Something a little different. Let me grab a cat. Because I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Okay. Maybe I'm... Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right. Changing that up. Now, I don't know if I want to use the hat there. Let's try a pumpkin. Let's try the pumpkins. If I have any large pumpkins left, I've been using them all. Yeah, I do. Okay. That might be too large. Oh, no. I think it looks good. What do you think? Eh, let's see. Let's try it this way. Nope. I like it that way. Okay. So, since it's, obviously it's Halloween, it's not a fall card, we're going to stamp with these cute little faces. And we're going to make it a Halloween card. Oh, you're waiting for yours to arrive? Yeah, mine. I thought mine came kind of early this time. Oop, I didn't use my pad. Hopefully it comes out. It did. I'm being bad here. Where's my... There it is. Perfect. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to bring in my card base. Yep, okay. So now I can start putting it together. Looks good. Thanks, Joyce. Okay, so we're just going to do some... Hmm, this one's giving me a little trouble here. Normally, I don't have trouble with mine. There we go. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to wait a second. I just decided I want to add something else to this. If I have it here, where did I put it? I think I want to put some ribbon on this. What do you think? Ribbon? See where my ribbon is. There it is. Okay, yep. I think I want to add some ribbon first. All right. Don't you think it needs some glitter ribbon too? Okay. Maybe I should put this down first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just go with me on this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of sticky now so I got to be careful all right and I'm just gonna not put it on my base yet so I want that right there all right there we go now I'm gonna put the ribbon around it because I think this ribbon goes nice with the black Glitter paper, glimmer paper, don't you? 
I always like to put a little extra over the ribbon before I layer it. So let's just do that. Okay, now we'll put it together. So now I can put that here and here. Yeah, I like the ribbon behind it. Okay, so since I have the ribbon there, what I like to do is take the dimensionals and put them around it. One on each side so it captures the ribbon. We're going to go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to put four on this. Oh, you like the cards on the fly. Tonight it really is on the fly. I didn't even have anything cut. I kind of like doing it too. You know why? Because I feel like when I'm doing this with everyone, you're telling me what you like, and it's kind of like stamping together, right? Like you were right here with me. You are right here with me. I'm just going to lay, layer that flat right on there. I'm going to take a couple more dimensionals and put this little guy here. And then the same thing over here. I don't get trick-or-treaters, but I do send out some Halloween cards. So this is great. Okay, we're going to put the pumpkins right there. All right. Now, he needs a little eye of some sort. So let's see what I'm going to give him here. I think the smallest thing I have is the regular rhinestone. So we'll put a regular regular rhinestone in there because we want his eye to stick out, right? Like he's at, it's at night and it's... Get that rhinestone off my finger. All right, so I'm going to bring in the rhinestones here. And let's see if that's too big. Nope. Perfect. So it really makes his eye pop out. And now let's see what I want to do for the saying. All right, so let's bring in those pieces here. On these sayings also, they also have some white flowers here that you can use for fall cards. I know it's really hard to see, and you can actually color those. So I'm going to take this, the Happy Halloween one. Have a happy Halloween. I'm going to bring in my Cajun craze, my mat. That's going to go right here. All right. So we'll put that on dimensionals too. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Sherry. Oh, you can definitely case any of my cards, Marlene. That is like the ultimate compliment. I'm going to put that crooked like that. Okay. Let me grab my inside because I'm not done yet. Oh, yeah, and you know what? The rhinestones go, goes with that glitter ribbon, so that turned out really well. Okay, and then this inside just says, let's see, the trick-or-treat, spooky and sweet. There we go. And I'm going to grab this little pumpkin here, or big pumpkin, I should say, in the black. Nope, not in black. Ugh, don't want that in black. I want, I got to use my chamois and clean that off because I want the, my well-loved chamois. Going to grab my, oh, I do want the black, don't I? Yes, I do. Silly me. because I'm going to color it with my blends. I'm just going to put a face on them, but I'm not. Whoop, didn't have it in camera view, sorry. You're not into Halloween? 
Well, you can do it with fall cards. The next one's going to be a fall card, Maureen. Because not everybody does Halloween. All right. And here I'm just going to grab my Granny Apple Green. And I do need the light colored Granny Apple Green now. Not sure where I put it. Give me one second. Nope, that's not it. Oh, I lost it. Okay, well, we'll just go with this plain color then. We'll just go with this. That's because it wasn't planned out. Okay, so there we go. So that's the inside. And then I am going to grab from my doodad box. Let me bring that over here. I got a couple of those iridescent pearls. And we're going to use some of those on here. Just lost the last one I had. Not sure where he went. All right, let's grab some more. It's on the table somewhere. I think he went flying across the table. Okay, there we go. Here's some more. Let's grab those. Oh, no, you're, you're live. I'm live, Jane. <laughs> okay, and let's put that one right here. There we go. And then I did have that strip right here. So we're just going to add an envelope for it. My scissors are buried. So I'll grab my other scissors and we'll just trim that off. So Friday morning, because I won't be on YouTube Live tomorrow night, Friday morning I am going to be doing uh, using Warm and Toasty. Got some cute things planned for that. So there we go. There's an alternative. Yes, it has so much stuff. You're right. Okay, so let's see what else we can play with here. All right, let me grab Asian Craze. And I am going to, not sure what I'm going to do yet. Let's see what else we got here. I just really like using this as backgrounds. I really do. But for this one, I am going to do it a different way. Where's that one card I had here? Okay, so remember this one. How I cut those. It's upside down. All right, so I'll show you that. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And there goes one of the punches on the floor. So the first thing I did was I cut these pieces off again. But I kept, see, I kept the points on them. I don't want the points this time. So I want those points off. Okay. And then where they're, where they're scored, I'm going to cut them in half, or cut them off. And some might be a little larger than others. I'm not really too worried about that. Okay. I'm going to bring this in, and let's see, what other color do I want? I want something different for this. Maybe I will use yellow. 
Let's see. Mango Melody. Let me see. I think I'll try Mango Melody. I don't know how it's going to look, but we'll try it. They have, you know what, they have the bumblebee. Let me, let, I'm going to grab a piece of bumblebee. I think I, they're so close. They're really, really close. But I think I want the bumblebee. So let's do, cut that to four. Five and a quarter. Oh, yeah, the four colors you've got. Yeah. Okay, let's move that out of the way here. Okay. And then... Still not sure. I think I'm going to do one more thing with this. Yep. Okay. I am going to grab... Let's see. Do I have Cajun Craze over here? See, I have a cart next to me with different colors. Yep. Okay. I'm going to try something else. I think I might layer this smaller. I just want to see how it's going to show up. Let's try this one smaller. All right. So let me try... Three and a half. Five. Well, let's try four and a, four and three quarters first. Yeah. Okay, that might work. Almost looks like that fence that I made. Wanted to get one more in there. Let's see if I can. If I cut this strip, I could. I just want one more piece. Let me just cut this piece off just a tad. I don't care if they're larger or smaller. It's just for a background. Yep, there we go. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to take the, now I'm going to try that tag punch. So first I'm going to punch the tag out to make sure whatever I try works. So that's the tag punch for the essential tags. And I am going to grab that pumpkin. Yep, that fits. Okay, I didn't have my mat, so let's hope this works. Yeah, good enough. Okay. All right, let me do some coloring again. Remember, you have all those die cuts, but you have these uh, stamps, too. So when you're done using up all those die cuts, which there's so many of them, you can just use your stamps and make some more cards. Grab my granny apple green again. Just doing it in the dark since my light is not here. Which worries me because it's always to the right and back of me. Probably on the other table. Okay. All right. Now let's see. don't really have ribbon for that that I I'm gonna grab bumble the bumblebee ribbon this is our ribbon 
that's in the annual catalog. And it kind of, I kind of like that. We'll see. All right, so let's do this. Let's take it apart so I can layer these down. Move those over, and I'm just going to start gluing these down. All right, so let's start with this one. You know what might happen after I took them apart. I probably won't get them back the way I wanted them. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. I might have to push this one over. All right, let's lift this one up. Gently. I can still move it because I didn't press it down real hard. If I want to move that over just a tad. So this one fits on there. Okay. All right. I'm going to take this tag and I have a, a hole punch here. You can use any size hole punch. This hole punch might be a little large. I would have liked it to be smaller, but I think I'll do it this way. Let's just pull that in there. Just going to do a loop around. Bring those two through there. I need to cut that, but I, I like to have it bigger. So let's cut those down a little bit. Okay, that's going to go right there. I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Yes, the pu there is a pumpkin punch. That's right. That's the one I didn't grab. Because I'm going to show you some of the other punches that will go with this really well, too. And you're right. It's the apple punch that you can make into a pumpkin. Yep. So it is a pumpkin, too. We're going to put that right here. Now I'm going to layer it onto my cardstock. I'm not done with it yet, but I'm going to layer it so I can see what else I want to do with it. I'm going to take, let's see, I want the um, peachy color. <laughs> I'm going to take the larger one this time. And I am going to stamp that again with the give thanks. right there yes the apple punch yep I'm gonna show those to you in one second you're right because I, I had another punch over here that I wanted to show you that would go well with this and I forgot about the apple punch too so put that right there give thanks and grab some of those leaves now, I actually have some, oh, these, I got everything all over the place now. So let's grab some of these leaves and flowers. Okay, we got a couple of these. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet, but. Okay, so here's the flowers. I want one of each. That's what I was looking for before and couldn't find them. And now I'm going to grab some of these leaves here. So 
So let's poke out a couple and see what we're gonna where we're gonna put them. I'm gonna poke out one of each. Oh, you you only see part of my table, you bet. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the flowers. I mean, you just got so many of these. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all. I'm just trying to see where I might want to put them. And I kind of think I might like the leaves going like down here. Let's see. What other colors do we have? We've got one more color here. Yeah. Uh, this one. Okay, I'm going to take the flowers off for a minute because I kind of like these leaves. And I'm going to alternate those. So that's going to go up there. This one can go right here. And then I need a yellow. I need another yellow. There it is. Okay, what do you think? And I'm going to use the mini dimensionals on this. Thank you. Okay, you can watch the rest of it on replay. Thank you for tuning in. I am longer than I usually am, huh? had just enough of those little ones to put on here and I still have all the flowers I don't know if I want the flowers I kind of just like the leaves what do you think I really do just like the leaves on there I want to trim this a little bit though I kind of just like the leaves on there and then what I would do if I had it here but it's on the other table is I add some Wink Stella on that you love them all thank you and this one um, I'm going to leave blank inside because I have another uh, saying that I'd re want to put in there. Whoop, that's not the right color. I want off-white, very vanilla. I'm just going to put this in there now, but I'm going to use that uh, Give Thanks stamp from my other stamps at the uh, Autumn Blessings I want in here. So that's just another cute alternative. But wait, I'm not done because you know it needs something else. And I think it needs a little bit of these. Because these are real, these I love because they're clear, but they got that gold flex in them. So I think it really makes everything pop. Quick, easy, cute card, right? So let me show you another thing I want to make sure everybody realizes is available and would go with this is look at the cat punch. It's not the same cat as the die cuts, right? But it would still work. And let me grab that apple punch so I can show you. Because the apple punch is also a pumpkin punch. So don't forget these two punches that are in the annual catalog. See, it looks like an apple. But the st if you look at the stamp set, you can use that as a uh, pumpkin. So these two punches are in the annual catalog they go great now let's say you liked this card okay minus the hat because you, I, we don't have a hat punch but you can make the same card using this stamp and making pumpkins the other alternative you could use is this stamp on everything essential so you could actually put that cat there and that pumpkin there and it would still work, right? 
Okay. So let me bring in the cards again. And I will have still shots. I know I'm kind of long for you. So this was the one card that we did. Yes, the black cat would look great in shimmery paper. Oh, well, what the heck? Let's see. I got it right here. Let's see if I... I don't know if it's my piece is left over, if it's big enough. But I'll, let me try it. Yeah, it is big enough. So let's do that. There you go. So look. Let's make believe that's there instead. See that? I might want to put them right there. Why couldn't I put them right there? What do you think? Should I put them on here? I can move things around. I could put them right here. I'll wait till you answer. I'll leave him right there. So again, here's this card. And then this one. I'm just going to bring in the cards, not the envelopes. Okay, here is the one that I made into a fence. And then here's that one with the great paper, uh, the um, pumpkin paper there. And then, of course, we have this one with the matching envelope. And I won't bring in the scrapbook pages. If you didn't see those, those will be back online tomorrow. Yes, you think the cat? Okay, let's put the cat on there. So even though I have dimensionals here, I'm going to move them. You can gently move things around. And then if you can't, you can hide things. I'm just going to lift that up. Cause, and I'm going to move those, those uh, leaves around. Okay, so we're going to put the cat right here. We'll put them at an angle. Let me just put these right here for a minute and put dimensionals. Thank you. See, you guys helped me. And what can I say? I call everybody guys. So girls and guys helped me. Um, all I need to do now is find my larger dimensionals, which are buried. And I definitely want dimensionals because I think he needs to be popped up. Oh, there they are. Okay. So we're going to put the cat there. Thanks for helping me decide. So we'll just put him just at an angle. So like here. Yeah, I want my little doodad to be showing. Okay. Then we can finish with the leaves. Look at that. I can put the leaves right back. I think I want that leaf going that way. There we go. The black cat's on there now. Thanks so much for stamping with me. This was fun. I got to do this more often. Just come on and just ask me what you think, and everybody can tell me what they want me to do, right? So don't forget these little pieces, too, because, I don't know, we can make a banner out of them. I don't know. We'll figure out something. I've got a lot more pieces left over, so I'm sure I'll be doing a lot more cards. So, again, thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry about last Friday, but I am back, and I will be back here Friday morning, Facebook Live at 7 a.m. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank, thank you for commenting. If you have any questions, just ask. I will get to the uh, questions later on, and I will put all the um, different designer series paper, black, glimmer paper and all that in the description probably later to, or tomorrow okay so again thank you all for tuning in have a great evening have a great week and keep on stamping stampers bye